happy, beautiful, and always likable. Welcome to the world of stock photographer Yuri Arkos. His pictures sell globally. His models and their immaculate smiles grace the covers of flyers, magazines, and billboards. If you're going down a street and you just look to the right and you see my shot, you know the message. You got it in one second. That's, that's what we try to do. Very easy readable, very clearly understood images. So that's not easy. People think that that's, that's, um, that's easy to do. That's not easy. All right, very good. Looks great. Time for another session in Yuri's studio in the Danish city of Aarhus. The model was flown in from Russia. People can look very beautiful, but they can also look a little bit arrogant in the way they look beautiful. So we're trying to sort the kind of models that just have a generally nice, believable, open face. Beautiful. Let's do straight, straight, turn the face towards me. Every session has to produce as many usable images as possible. Yuri earns his money from the mass market. His cheapest pictures cost less than a euro, and they're produced without a definite buyer. Images like this will end up, for example, in a women's magazine or on a shampoo bottle. As a photographer, you have to understand what you are. You provide images to every niche of uh, industry that needs images. If you haven't come to terms with that, you're not really in the right business. The business is microstock photography, and it's relatively new. The first agency was established a decade ago. Customers do a keyword search through one of the giant online archives. Microstock is also cheap. It's long become a real competitor for established mainstream photo agencies. Especially today with all the apps and websites, there's a huge demand for cheap photography. People who run websites don't have the budget that, say, magazines used to have, or still do for that matter. So they're forced to buy material for pennies, and this is the segment for microstock photography. It's a concept that's made Yuri Akos rich. With some 4.4 million licensed pictures a year, he's the best seller in the microstock world. And he's not even professionally trained. He started out six years ago while studying psychology. First, I was very happy about just to see a couple of sales here and there. I was like, yes, I have a sale. Somebody is downloading my shot somewhere in the world and using it for something. Yeah. And then I started going uh, chasing the sales. I started actually shooting towards making more sales. Besides taking photos, Yuri has also been producing short films with the same look as his images. Another new market. Demand for cheap moving pictures is also rising. Parts of them are used in TV ads or on websites. <laughs> Let's say you want a green field that looks nice, just for a split of a second in a commercial. We have that green field. Let's say you want a beautiful, gorgeous model that smiles and looks like she's gymming. Poof, we have that, you know. So it's just those small clips that you don't necessarily know where come from when you watch TV. We make that. Yuri's international staff has grown to about 100 people. Together, they're a factory for stock imagery. That's the only way to stay on top. Definitely one of the most difficult things to, uh, to tackle is keeping a fresh mind and being able to constantly come up with new ideas. Um, and while an artist or many uh, creative people have to come up with a good idea every week, we have to come up with 50 for a shoot. <laughs> and we do five per week or two per week or something like that, an average. Statistically, Yuri Akus sells the rights to one of his photos every eight seconds. Okay. For the competitors, it looks as if he'll be at the forefront of the microstock business for some time to come.